Hi, and welcome to this video. We're going to call this video classroom language. In classroom language, um, we could say that that is the way that you communicate inside the classroom. So when you begin an English class, it is very important to memorize and to learn these words and these phrases that we have here because this is how you and your teacher are going to communicate inside the classroom. So I'm going to read them out loud so you can get their pronunciation, but you need to practice and you need to memorize this classroom language. So classroom language is the way that you communicate with your teacher in the classroom. So it's very important to know these words that we have here in these phrases. Number one, we have here, and you can repeat after me. You can say, open your book, open your book. Number two, close your book, close your book. And you have a picture that you could see what it is. Number three will be stand up, stand up. Number four will be sit down, sit down. Five, or the next one is when you have a question, then you ask the question. Let's say you don't understand something, so you're going to say, what is the meaning of in English? So you ask, you ask. The next one that we have after ask is answer the question, answer the question. So if I ask a question to you, if I say, for example, what is your name? That is a question. So when you respond to that, you answer the question. So you say, my name is Pedro Rodriguez, is an example. So that is the answer. So sometimes um, your teacher is going to have some examples and is going to say, okay, Pedro, answer question number one. And then you look at question number one and you answer. You give the response to that question. The next one that we have is listen to the teacher. Very important. When the teacher is speaking, you need to listen to the teacher. That means that you're paying attention to the teacher and you have your ear um, in attention to the teacher. Draw. Draw is an activity. And draw is like when you have some examples and you have to use your pen and you have to put something. Here, I'm gonna set the example of draw on my blackboard. Let's say that the teacher said, hey, I need you to draw a flower. So I get my blackboard, and here I'm going to draw. It is a little ugly, but you can put it there. Imagine that this is a flower. Imagine, and I'm going to put it like this. All right, so there um, you're going to see that I draw something or I draw a flower um, on my blackboard. All right, let's go down with the next one. The next one, the one that we have here after draw, we have count. Count, it has to do with the numbers. So. If I say, for example, count, then you will start counting. You say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You count. The next one that we have here is write. Write is when you use your pen or you use your pencil in your notebook and you you write. You write there. Read is like when we have a book. So you take the book and you look at the book and you will start reading. Say, for example, in the reading we have here we have the alphabet, and you need to repeat about the alphabet. So you get the book, you open the book, and you read. All right, sing. Well, if you are talented, then you can sing. You get the microphone, and you start singing. Hello, we have them here. Well, I don't sing that good, but it's good. Listen, then you just listen. It's like you pay attention with your ear, and you listen. Look. It's like you put your eyes on it and you look at something. 
you are attentive you look you look say hello hello say hello hello that'll be the next one say hello you say hello and speak in english very important if you are learning the language then you need to speak in english that means that you speak in english not in other languages you speak in english so you can practice the language all right take your book out okay so your book is inside your bag and you take the book out all right or put your book away when we say put your book away that means to disappear your book disappear your book put it away you put it inside your bag or put it inside your desk we got here match match is when we have i'm going to set an example let's say that there is an exercise on the board and here you got one two three four five and on the other side you have a you got b c d e one two three four five one two three four five so when we say match that means that you're going to have one from this side and you're going to put with another one from the other side let's say that here we have the numbers and we have the numbers on the other side too let's say that one is here two is here three is here four is here five is here all right so if i say match with the numbers so you got to find number five you put a line you match this side with that side um, number four you can see that is here so i'm going to match look i'm going to match number four with number four or with eight number one is here so i'm going to match and number three is here so i'm going to match number two is there so i'm going to match so in this case i match one side with the other side so that is what we have when is match the next one after match we have ride on the board so you get the board like i did and then you ride on the board and you could see that example there too right on the board clean the board well if you um, want to participate we can say oh you want to help the teacher sometimes the teacher can say clean the board so you get the eraser and you you clean the board point okay point is when you go like this you see now i'm pointing at the camera so i'm pointing at you this is point when you point you point point all right the next one is come here come here is let's say that you are there but i want your attention and i want you to be next to me so i said pedro come here come here pedro come here come here and you can practice saying come here the next one is raise your hand very important raise your hand is when you put your hands up okay like this you raise your hand especially when you have a question so you raise your hand okay you raise your hand when you have a question raise your hand work in groups that means that you're going to work with another partner or you're going to work with another student you and the student and you are a group a group of two group of three group of three work in group work in pairs work in pairs is this one here that means that you're going to work by twos all right only twos one and two that's it two students two students two students two students that means that you work in pairs the next one is come in let's say that you are outside on the other side of the door and i see you and i said hey come in that means that you can come inside the classroom i said hey come in come in don't sleep very important you are in a classroom so please don't sleep you sleep in your house not in the classroom don't sleep no don't sleep in the classroom no um we got the next one says don't talk well if we have an activity 
and it's a reading, for example, then sometimes mm, you say, mm -hmm, don't talk. Mm -mm. Now, listen. Mm -mm, don't talk. So, mm, you, mm, you don't. Mm -hmm. The next one that we have ooh, is a very delicate one. It says, don't cheat. Mm. Cheat is when you are taking an exam and you look at the other exam so you can check the answer. Yeah, no, don't cheat. Mm -mm. You look at your exam. Don't look at the exam of your partner. If you look at the exam of your partner, then you are cheating. So no, don't cheat. Don't cheat. And the last one that we have here, we have here, don't be late. Don't be late. Don't be late means the time, okay? That if the class is at 8 a.m., then you need to be in the class at 8 a.m. If you come at 8.30, then you are late. So I say, don't be late. I miss some words. Here it says, do your homework. Do your homework. That means that the homework that the teacher gives um, to you, you need to complete the homework. Think, uh, we have a problem in a, in a board, and I say, think. I said, okay, what is your last name? And you don't understand the question. So I say, think, think. What is your last name? And you, you start thinking. Oh, my last name is Rodriguez. That means that you were thinking. Again, what is your last name? You don't remember, you don't know, you are not getting the answer. And then I say, think, think. And then you say, oh, Rodriguez. That means because you thought. Be quiet is the one that we have here. It's just be quiet. Be quiet is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Quiet means that you are not moving, that you are mm -hmm, quiet. Mm -mm, you are not moving. So mm -hmm. quiet is a very polite way to say silence. When I say, please, everybody, be quiet. Help each other. What we have here, help each other. Help each other is that you help your partner and your partner help you. So you help each other. Look, this is you, right? This is your partner and this is you. So you help your partner and your partner help you. Let's say you have a conversation and I said, okay, help each other with a conversation. So you help this partner and this partner helps you. You work together. You help. Um, you help each other. You help your partner. Your partner help you. The two at the same time. So help each other. This is you. And this is your partner. So you help each other. I help you with the questions. I help you with the answers. The two. You help each other. I do one question. I do the other question. I do one answer. You do the other answer. So the two are helping each other. I help you, you help me, together. We got here, bring your supplies. Oh, very important. Supplies are all the things that you use for the class, like your pencil, your notebook, your book, all of those are your supplies. So when we say bring your supplies, we are talking in general. We say bring all the tools that you need for the class. Bring pencil, eraser, uh, um, sharpener, book, notebook, all of those together, they are your supplies. And as you can see in the picture, look, they have a lot of things. Now we're gonna go one more round only for the pronunciation and that's going to be it. And you can repeat after me. Open your book. Close your book. Stand up. Sit down. Ask. Answer the questions. 
Listen to the teacher. Draw. Count. Write. Read. Sing. Listen. Look. Say hello. I speak in English. Take your book out. Put your book away. Match. Write on the board. Clean the board. Point. Come here. Raise your hand. Work in groups. Work in pairs. Work in pairs. Come in. Do your homework. Think. Be quiet. Help each other. Bring your supplies. Don't sleep. Don't talk. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Bring your supplies. Don't be late. Don't be late. Don't be late. Don't be late. Well, thank you very much. And we're going to leave it here. You can always repeat the video and practice a little more. Bye-bye.